Okay, does flour and baking soda really get rid of rodents? Hey, folks, I'm going to try it. I'm willing to try anything. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. I have a problem. My problem is uh, a rodent is devastating my garden crop. Let me show you. Here is my lettuce bed, and there is a rodent hole. Now, not only is the creature eating my lettuce, it also ate all the peas off of this pea vine which was a special pea it was the last one and the only one I got to grow and I was using it for a seed crop it was the purple pod pea which was a gift from a friend in Canada so I now have zero pea pods uh, here's the evidence of the purple pods yeah they were literally purple but now it pulled down the vine and ate all the peas out of the pods. It was going to be my seed crop. Now it's time for war. This critter or these critters have to go. So for this concoction, uh, I found it on um, YouTube. Uh, I'm going to use a half cup of flour and a half cup of baking soda. And I'm going to put it in this container, but I'm going to modify the lid. Let's get it into the container. I'm mixing it up really good. Now, for the lid, I'm going to cut a hole in it. Now, let's go put this over by that hole. Now the reason why I put the hole in the lid and put this on its side this way is because I sprinkle and irrigate the garden with a sprinkler and I'll be uh, irrigating tonight, but I don't want the flower to get wet. So I put it on its side facing that direction because my sprinkler is going to be over here and the contents won't get wet and soggy. So uh, hopefully this will be okay and the rat, whatever it is that's eating my crops, will come in and eat the baking soda and the flour. Now the concept of the baking soda and the flour is, well the flour, the, the, the rodents will eat flour. And you, uh, some people are adding a little bit of sugar, like a tablespoon of sugar, uh, to sweeten the deal, no pun intended, but the baking soda gets in their intestines and when they go good drink water, it bubbles up, creates a lot of gas and it perforates the gastrointestinal system and they eventually die. This is going to take like three, four days. So I'm going to keep this stocked over three or four days, but to see if it's effective or and even to identify what creature is in here, I'm going to use my trail camera and we're going to find out exactly what's going on. Hopefully that'll work. What do you think? So I've got the same problem in the barn and my tractor barn. 
uh, and around the chicken coop. So I've got some lids here and I'm going to make four concoctions and we're going to distribute them around and uh, give these critters a run for their money. We're just doing half a cup of uh, each. That way it's just, I don't waste a lot of it. sprinkle some flour over the top of that because I think the baking soda has like a salty taste and these rodents are after salt I don't know let's try it what does baking soda taste like by itself yeah salty kind of have that salty flavor so the rodents will like the saltiness of it we're not going to add sugar to it but now we're just going to take it and distribute it among the uh, barn, the tractor barn, and the chicken coop. We're just going to slide the first one right under here. That way it stays clean and dry. We'll also slide one under the bunny bungalow. Put one right here. And we'll put another one over here among the rodent turds here in the barn. Okay, we got them all distributed. Yeah, those rodents are tearing this up. Yeah, they're destructive. They're getting in here and peeing and pooping all over everything. Ugh. So, I'll be back in about, oh, three to five days, and we'll continue this video. So, stay tuned. I will be right back in a video second to you guys. Okay, now it's time to check out the results of laying out the baited traps, or that baking soda and flour mixture for the rodents. Let's go see in the garden what the trail cams picked up. It, do, it appears that something has been tasting it. Uh, but nothing's been eating my lettuce. That's a good thing, as long as the lettuce isn't being it. Uh, so let's check out the images from the trail cam. <laughs> it captured a little bird, and the bird doesn't seem at least a bit interested in what's inside of that cottage cheese container. It's just after the bugs and grubs that are in the soil. Good little bird. Yeah, we need those in the garden. Oh my god, is that a rat or a mouse? Okay, it's big. I think it's a rat.
Okay, now that we've got that solved, and they did take the bait, they ate it, uh, keeping my fingers crossed that it's taking an effect on them, I'm leaving this bait out here. I'm actually going to make some more of these bait traps because they are effective at keeping the water off the flour and the baking soda because I do have to water the garden. And uh, the other ones, let's go check out the other ones and see if there's any activity on them at all. <laughs> yeah. Chickens are so hot, they're resting in the uh, shade. Look at them. And there's my babies. Poor hot. Hey, it's 112 degrees outside. So let's see what we've got under here. Yes. The rat has taken advantage of it. Yes. And now we go under the bunny bungalow. And what do we see here? Yep. The rodent has been here too. Hope I get them all. And now the tractor barn. I put it over here underneath of the uh, generator. It even left a turd. Holy moly. Yep, they've been in there. Die, you suckers. Let's go check the barn out. Oh, yeah, the evidence is all over it. They've been munching on that. That's a good thing. Look what those rodents did to my door. They tore it up. Now, let's grab the trail cam and see what we captured out here. Score! We got a mouse. Yep. And that sucker partook. And we have a couple rats out here too, so we're going to get them. We're going to get them out of here and take care of this rodent population around the homestead. Bad, nasty creatures. Horrible. I'm sure they have their place in, in the environment, but oh, please, not here. I'm going to go put the uh, chip on the computer and include it with this episode so you guys can see what I was just looking at up there. Anyway, uh, the verdict, not sure yet, but we know that the rodents are taking care of it. And we know that baking soda has a reaction with their gastrointestinal system. They get the baking soda flour in there and they drink water and the baking soda causes a lot of bubbling. And then they burst their gut asunder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to cause them to meet their greedy little demise. Ooh, hopefully there will be a... I'll clean up the turds and I'll set up my bait and then we'll see if there's more turds in a three-day uh, period uh, around the bait. If there is, then we still have quite a colony to get rid of. If there isn't, then we we finished our job and the product does work. I will come back with an update on this in a future show. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up, but as far as does baking soda and flour work, I'm going to reserve my opinion until a later show and you guys will hear the final conclusion of what I found on my homestead. Who knows, these mice could be Olympic mice and immune to everything. We'll see. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. This is Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. Thank you for showing up on my episodes and watching us. At least you're a little bit entertained because you keep coming back. Thank you for that. If you're not already, please subscribe and click that bell icon. That alerts you to the videos. When I upload them, you get a notification. Give us a thumbs up, like the show, and also leave a comment down below. Click that share button. Sharing our videos on your social media platforms helps us out a lot. I'm going to go ahead into the uh, in cooled house. It's 112 and rising. Um, yeah, it's not even 5 o'clock yet. We reached the peak yesterday of 112 at 5 o'clock. It's only right now 10 after 4. <sighs> it's hot. I'm going to go hydrate and cool. Be safe. Always be kind. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.